Hey everyone, M1 Shadow here. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the AR-15. For those of you who do or do not know, the AR-15 has been a rifle of a lot of controversy uh, thanks to false information in the news and media. And there's a lot of myths about this rifle that are just simply untrue. And that's what I'm going to discuss today and hopefully shed some light for those of you who may not know, and just a reminder for those of you who do. So let's get started. So myth number one is that the AR-15 is an assault rifle, or AR stands for assault rifle. Uh, first of all, as far as what it stands for, it actually stands for Armalite rifle. Uh, assault rifle is just simply not true. And as far as it being an assault rifle, it's not. It's not even close to being one. An assault rifle is defined as a fully automatic rifle. Your typical AR-15 that you get off the shelves is not. As a matter of fact, it is very hard to get a fully automatic rifle. Um, ever since the Firearms Act of 1934, if you want to get a license to have an automatic rifle, I mean, you really have to jump through some serious hoops and, you know, it, it, there's a lot involved in it. But, yeah, your AR-15, it's not an assault rifle. The second myth I want to talk about is the power of it. A lot of people think that, who don't know, they think that it's this ridiculously powerful round, and that's simply not true. As a matter of fact, compared to most, most hunting rifles, it's actually on the low power scale. Uh, I'm not saying that it should be underestimated, uh, of course not, you know, any, any firearm is deadly in the wrong hands, but I just want to give you a little demonstration. Uh, this over here, this is a 223. This is the round that is fired out of an AR-15, and this is a 308, which is, you know, a common hunting round. And if you look at them side by side, I mean, there's just no comparison. Uh, the 308 just dwarfs this, the, the little 223. You know, even if you put the bullets next to each other, if you look, you could just see that, you know, the bullet, aside from case capacity, the bullet on the 308 is just so much bigger. So. Yeah, the 223 is actually just, it's, it's a 22 size bullet, but with just a little more case capacity be, uh, you know, behind it. Uh, it's, but it certainly does not compare to a typical hunting round like a 30 odd 6 or a 308 when it comes to power. Uh, it, not even close. So the third myth I want to clear up is when people say that the AR-15 is no good for hunting, and that simply is not true. With the right ammunition, it actually is great for hunting. If you put some soft point ammunition in that, you know, it, it's great for medium-sized game. I'd say the biggest you probably want to go would be a deer. I think just because it's a smaller bullet, it probably wouldn't be good for anything uh, beyond deer-sized game. But... Yeah, medium-sized game, uh, hunting for deer and hogs, um, it's, I, I would think it would be a great round. So, you know, and, and also for small game too, it hits a good round and you could use it in hunting. So anyway, in my opinion, those are the top three AR-15 myths. I'd really like to hear your thoughts and if you could think of other myths too, I'd like to hear about them in the comments. As always, I do want to thank you all for watching and have a good one.